good morning everyone it is friday and all i can say is tgi friday because my fridays aren't as busy as some of the other days of the week so i'm super happy it's friday it's like around 9 17 i love telling you guys what the time is if you haven't noticed anyway so i've made my breakfast now um i've been up for a while as usual doing like yogurt and some work before i eat my breakfast so i'm having my usual green smoothie in this blender which i've got with me this term it's a black breville one so having this blender with me is so useful because it's really small and portable and you can just make your smoothies up in this bottle you can just drink it straight out of it i also have this lid that i can take the bottle with me when i go out so i really do highly recommend like small portable blenders like this and this one wasn't even expensive like nutribullets are a lot more expensive they do pretty much the same thing i pretty much always start my day with smoothies so for me it's a uh, necessity to have a blender like that and then this morning i'm having a mango and oh my goodness if you saw in my other vlog i had this mango and i it wasn't that great whereas this one as you can see is literally the perfect mango and then also i wanted to show you my supplements so firstly i take vitamin d3 and it's a vegan version of vitamin d3 because usually it's not vegan um i supplement vitamin d um because in the uk there is no sun a lot of people are deficient in vitamin d and they don't actually know that so i prefer to take a supplement especially when it's winter and that way i can absorb calcium because you need vitamin d to absorb calcium so yes i take this once every other day roughly and then this is the most important supplement as a vegan and a lot of people are also deficient in b12 even if they're not vegan if you want to research why we don't get b12 it's very easy to find online but essentially it goes along the lines that we only get vitamin b12 from bacteria that make it in the soils people who eat meat and animal products obtain vitamin b12 because they have eaten an animal which in turn has eaten grass and consumed some of those bacteria and obtained b12 and so obviously we wash our food all the time and everything is really clean so we don't obtain b12 through eating vegetables and fruit that have been grown like in the ground sort of thing also the soils are becoming more and more infertile nowadays so they are being depleted in b12 and farmers nowadays do just inject b12 into the farm animals the cows the pigs the sheep etc and then you are then eating that animal so it makes sense just to get the supplement directly instead of eating an animal to obtain the b12 because a farmer has injected the animal and then you're eating the animal why don't you just go straight to the b12 source anyway enough of that you can do your own research just because a vegan needs to take a supplement is not a reason why we shouldn't be vegan 100% no so these are both cytoplan and my family gets them um in bulk on amazon because obviously there are three vegans in my family if you saw my other vlog the other week where i introduced you to all my family and spoke about whether we were all vegan or not so yeah these are new ones actually we used to have this other make called vegan city veganicity something like that but we've now got side plan ones because they apparently are better especially for people with acne prone skin anyways these ones are what they're sublingual so basically it means that you put it under your tongue and it gets absorbed into your bloodstream a lot quicker so it's more likely that you will obtain b12 like the vitamin d i take this roughly every other day i'm getting better at putting it under my tongue but uh oh uh, what uh, 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 uh. so i just spilled a load of my water trying to drink too fast Anyway, so this year I have a load of awkward hour lunch breaks and they're awkward because I finish the thing that I'm doing before at one o'clock, so it's just gone one now, and then I need to be somewhere again at two. So essentially I don't have a full 60 minutes, I only have like 45 or sometimes not even that. So it's really annoying and that means I have to eat lunch really quickly because I tend to come back to college. So I don't prep anything in the morning, which I could do, and I sometimes do if I'm organized, but most of the time I make something really quickly. So I have been perfecting what I eat for lunch and it's not porridge or oatmeal because I don't cook it in the microwave. I don't even go to the kitchen, I don't have time. I just use everything in my room. It's a form of oats and it tastes so good. It's so simple to make. It's the quickest thing you can do. So it's really easy, delicious, 
and yeah I make it pretty much all the time when I have these hour lunch breaks and don't have enough time to do anything else. Um, I tend to put in an apple. This is the board that I was using this morning. I haven't washed it up yet. Yeah, I wash up in bulk. Um, then I've got some frozen blueberries, which I just like to add here today. So I have some pomegranate seeds. You need a bowl, obviously, um, a ripe banana. You need oats. I add some sweet freedom fruit syrup to sweeten up a little bit. I've got some cacao nibs, hemp seeds, and chia seeds, which are literally my favorite things at the moment. So here we go. So first of all, you just want to cut up your apple, obviously. Oh no, actually, first things first. Add your oats. Here we go, just shove in some oats. And then what you do with your oats is you run to your bathroom because I don't run to the kitchen. As I said, I don't have time to run to the kitchen and you just put in some water because it's drinking water, so it's fine. So I add some water so that the oats start to soak it up a bit. Um, I don't know why I'm using a fork, but hey, um, so you, it's kind of that much water. I don't measure it. As I say, this is the quickest recipe meal lunch idea so i don't measure it i just add enough so it starts to soak up a bit and i like it quite thick and creamy so i've got a bit extra so just leave that there then you want to add in some chia seeds and hemp seeds so they start to absorb the water as well and then we'll just mix that up a bit now we chop the apple chop it as finely or as not finely as you want and then just shove it in your bowl Okay, now peel and slice your banana, or just put it in in chunks. I just tend to mash it up a bit as well. Add in the banana. Start mixing it around a bit. Add in fruit syrup. A fork, even though it's weird, is actually better than a spoon because you can mash the banana up a bit and get everything to mix thoroughly. Cacao nibs lots of pomegranate seeds and some blueberries so this is what it now looks like it is super super quick and super easy i'm not actually gonna eat it with a fork i'm gonna get a spoon now but you know this is my favorite combination you can add whatever you like um but i just recommend adding some stuff that's sweet and gonna sweeten it up the oats will give you long lasting energy or the fruit and the banana will give you that burst of energy that you need either midday or in the morning so yeah definitely try it out tell me if you've got anything else that would taste good in it i sometimes add cinnamon actually but today i haven't so yeah and it smells really good mm. so good and i'm eating it with a fork now anyway so that is my lunch break now over sadly Literally like half an hour, no joke, but I made my lunch in like five minutes. Going to Sainsbury's. Super busy. Reduced. No. Bean sprout. Holly's favorite section. Bananas. Just gonna grab a load. Mm. I think that's enough. Okay, so we've got all the bananas in the basket. This is the usual banana run that I do. And it gets strange looks because all I'm getting is bananas from Sainsbury's. Got more bananas because I was out of bananas. Yeah, I got some bean sprouts as well because they're reduced. So I got back from Sainsbury's a while ago and now it's like a few hours later. It's currently like... Here we go again, I'm telling you the time. 6.44, so almost seven o'clock, and I had this academic session thing that I had to go to, so basically, I had to dump my bananas and rush off again. It was a bit hectic, not gonna lie. So, I got my bananas though. I only had these left. I go and get bananas about once a week. Um, not on a set day, it's just when I can fit it in, when I'm running out. And as I, you saw in my room tour video, I call it my banana ripening station. Like, that is what I call it, and I think it's quite fun. I do then a weekly shop from Audi about once a week, hence weekly shop. Sometimes it's a bit longer than a week, depending on how much food I've got. And I get bananas from Sainsbury's instead of Audi because they are cheaper, and I would not be able to carry the bananas 
as well as everything else back from Aldi. I have to cycle back and I struggle at the best of times. So with added bananas, I just wouldn't get back. So I'm gonna do that tomorrow and probably take you with me to Aldi. And that is where I buy my fresh produce for the week, essentially because all like dry stuff, so like rice and pasta and oats and stuff like that, I bring with me to university in bulk. The banana stores are now replenished. So we are grocery shopping today. I'm doing my weekly fresh grocery shop, as I said yesterday, and we are at, where's the sign? We're at Aldi, people. We're going in. Let's begin. Where are the grapes? The shelves look really empty. Great start. There's no rye bread. Found grapes. It's not very much though. I figured that it's really busy because everyone's buying fireworks. It's fireworks night tomorrow. But essentially, I finished my shop. I have three bags here. I've got this one, which just has a few extras. This sits in there. It will go on the handle. This is the size of my rucksack. It's so fat now. Oh, my rucksack is literally the heaviest thing. Ugh sticks off so much. This is what we have to cycle back with now. Get on the bike and we're gonna go back. Before, stocks are very low. And after, look at this. This basket thing is so useful. I can finally like organize my fruit so it's not just like spread everywhere. Oh, I need to clear up the mess it's left behind. But anyway, so we've got a load more fruit now. I've got some avocados that can ripen up. And the fridge is now kind of restocked. Some of my stuff also over spills into the kitchen fridge. Um, that's where I keep my veg and stuff because it's easier for when I'm making dinner. But yeah, I pretty much got everything I needed from Aldi. So I also got some more frozen berries as well, just to stock up. It's not difficult. It just requires a bit of organization planning when you're gonna go and do your shop. I'm not the only person who cycles with an enormous backpack and loads of other bags. Other students do do it. I'm not the only crazy one out there. Yeah, so I consume a lot of fresh stuff. So that means I do have to do like a weekly shop-ish. But you need to eat your greens and your fresh stuff to get all the bits and minerals that you need, people. And I'm really glad it wasn't raining today because it was raining this morning and it stopped. That meant I didn't get soaking wet, which would have been a nightmare. But yeah, weekly shop is down. So my pledge to try and keep Sundays as free as possible without any commitments is the biggest fail of my life. Well, not a fail, it just hasn't worked. So today, this morning, I have three hours of dance rehearsals for jazz and contemporary, and then I have an hour off, and then I have another two hours for a ballet rehearsal for this performance that I'm doing for a Law Society ball event. So I've been asked to be one of the dancers performing at the Law Society Ball for like their entertainment and it's gonna be like some ballet numbers put together. So I need to rehearse for that today because it's coming up in like two weeks. So I have five hours of dance rehearsals today, this Sunday. So clearly that's a lot of commitments. 
So it has been one crazy, crazy day. Super, super busy. And it's the evening now, so I'm making dinner. And I'm currently in the process of making like a sweet potato curry type thing, which I'm gonna show you in a minute. Excuse all the mess because it's a bit hectic in the kitchen today. Potatoes, sweet potato going on because it's a sweet potato curry type thing. Maybe I should have used a bigger pan. Oh, the heat went off. It's not gonna cook if we don't put the heat on, is it, Holly? So that's nicely going. We can start making our actual dinner now because that's meal prep. This happens every week, but I have very late nights. And so this week I'm trying to maybe have some meals prepped because I went to Aldi yesterday, as I said, and this is my veg in the communal kitchen. So I'm just gonna be getting stuff out to decide what I need to do for dinner today. But I have like spinach, courgettes, celery, and another pack of celery, mushrooms, broccoli, carrots. What else do we have here? Leeks, a parsnip. Uh, that's it in terms of veg. Yes, the first thing I've got to say is wow, that's a lot of plastic. I hate the overuse of plastic, and I really wish Aldi didn't package everything in plastic like it does. It really frustrates me and you're probably like that's so hypocritical of you Holly when you're always like oh you're trying to be sustainable which I am trying to be sustainable so I do try and recycle and reuse as much as I can but it's so frustrating that in the places I buy food from they just use a ton of plastic. So yeah, that's a side note, but anyways. Yeah, I do buy a lot and it tends to keep, which is good, I don't know why, but I try and keep it fresh, like I wrap carrots in kitchen roll and stuff like this. But yeah, I buy a lot of food because buying for one person works out so much more expensive and I get through a lot of fresh stuff anyways, so it's not hard for me to eat a lot of this food, to be honest with you. I love all my veg, so I do like to get like carrots, parsnips, leeks, basically everything I find. I'm just like, yeah, I need that. Yeah, I can have some of that as well. Oh, and that. So yeah, I have quite a lot in the fridge and obviously my fridge and freezer in my room as well. I do self-cater, like I don't buy any of my meals in college. I self-cater completely, so I make everything and do everything myself. So I need my supplies. And so I'm now just gonna decide what I actually wanna have for my dinner today. It's not difficult self-catering, just because I'm vegan doesn't really make it much harder to be honest with you. It's cheaper not buying any meats or cheeses and stuff, which is really expensive. It's a time that I can take out from work and take a break from things because I really don't believe that you should be working all the time. I phone home in this time often. It is definitely the way to go if you enjoy cooking, you wanna save some money, you wanna be creative. Oh, what's happening here? And yeah, being vegan just is really not difficult. It's second nature to me when people congratulate me for being vegan like wow I can never do that. It's so not hard, especially as a student on a budget. You can do it so so easily. So my sweet potato curry type thing is stewing away here. We only have tomato, chopped tomatoes in there, sweet potato and some onion and garlic which I fried off first. So here comes the fun part where you just get to be creative. So often well, most of the time, I don't really have time to look at a recipe and follow it precisely. So, oh, that's really hot. So I just make things up literally as I go along. And so I don't measure things out, to be honest with you. I don't know how much I've added of anything. Well, I know I put two onions in, two cloves of garlic, but that's it. Um, now I'm just gonna add a load of stuff, spice it up, and hopefully make it taste good. So I'm going to add, firstly, some red, split lentils. I literally don't know how many to add. I reckon we can go a few more. You watch, they will explode so much you'll come out the pan. And I did use the small pan, which probably wasn't a good idea, Holly, was it? Okay, so next we're gonna add some tomato puree. We are then gonna add some tahini, I feel today. So what do we reckon, I don't know get some of that in and then you lick the spoon a little dash of apple cider vinegar and now for 
a load of different spices so a little bit of chili powder but not too much because we don't want it too chilly some cumin a bit of basil turmeric and paprika okay so it's a very orange and it turned a different color because of the turmeric and teeny i used the smallest pan which was so stupid of me we're also gonna add some peas in at the end obviously key to making things like this as you go along or with anything really you just need to taste it to check it tastes nice and then you just adjust things to your preference hopefully this isn't hot oh my gosh the tahini makes it so good maybe a bit more basil um but that's good so here it is here's my little sweet potato curry and the peas added to it make it so good honestly i'm gonna put this into a tupperware container and save it for um the subsequent days i don't know how many meals it'll do me for two or three depending on how hungry i am and i'll probably be really hungry so i'm gonna shove it in this tupperware here but i need to wash it up because i was using it earlier today and oh my gosh look all that washing up now also i like leaving it instead of eating it straight away because then the flavors will tend to come out and it'll taste even better so here it is in my little tupperware here meal prep madness is complete and i still have tomato sauce around my face okay some of you will know what this is i'm just going because i have had to wait to open this i got it yesterday and i was like i'm gonna wait to open it for the vlog okay oh my gosh here is a cookbook basically but wait a sec I am featured in a cookbook, my recipe, here, in this book. Oh my god, this is literally crazy. Basically, I was chosen as one of a hundred foodies or people um, to be featured in this book. And the book is called Vegan Bowls for Vegan Souls. And it has been produced by the company Coconut Bowls, who you know I... Um, received bowls from and showed you guys basically i'm just gonna give you a sneak peek i have had to save these for such a long time in my freezer because i was waiting to show you when the book came in the post this is basically what i made for the book they don't look as great as when i first made them basically it's a 100 percent plant-based cruelty-free cookbook um it's very unique because it's not made by one person all the recipes have been provided by 100 pe different people some of the people in this book inspire me every day that's why it's so crazy and surreal it's so good if you're wanting to start out as a vegan i'm literally not gonna lie because this has so many amazing recipes some of them are so, they're so simple a lot of them but yeah they look and i bet you they taste amazing i am going to be trying all of these you can get it via the website i'm going to leave all the links down below and obviously because i am in the book i can give you a discount code so you can use vegan holly g to get five percent off they're doing a christmas bundle where you get the book and some bowls which is what i received here there's a date by which you have to order to get it by christmas so guys christmas is coming up it couldn't be a better opportunity put it down on your christmas list guys so so basically in the bundle you'll get a bowl a little spoon and um a fork and obviously if you didn't know what coconut bowls was i have mentioned it but they basically reuse all the shells from coconuts to reduce waste and then you obviously get the book so this is the full bundle Anyway, so yeah, guys, if you want to get this book and you want to see my recipe in it and all the other amazing recipes, please go and check out the website and get the book. I literally am so excited and I really want you guys to see this. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Obviously, the theme this time was about being vegan and being uh, vegan as a student, especially. But the thing to remember is that it's so easy to be vegan. That is literally the main message from this video. Once you get your head around it and you understand what you need to get, you organize yourself, super, super cheap, saves you money. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you've enjoyed coming to see me grocery shop. I hope you've enjoyed my little meal ideas, my meal prep ideas. Um, stay tuned for more videos like this, more why eat in a day because it's so versatile. It's not restrictive. I will be talking more about this book. I will literally be using, trying out recipes from it. So goodbye. Yeah. <laughs>